smoking on some OG Well, I'm homegrown and I'm leaning on to my love What's up, everybody? What's up? Welcome back to another vlog. Here we are. It is Friday. That is the antique store. Friday fun day. Friday antique shopping. Antique we shopping. Typically do. We have things we're looking for, per usual, but we'll probably not find those things, but find a bunch of other stuff. Probably. Per usual. It kind of works that way. I feel like you can't really go and like, you just get what you get. Like, you find what you find. Yeah. It's... Um, That's the fun in it though. So we thought today there's a few places we actually want to hit for our house. We want to like look for some furniture, some rugs, a sink actually. Like, we have a lot of categories the to sink. hit. We talked about this in a previous vlog, but we're trying to find a sink for the hall bathroom downstairs that yep. we've been kind of renovating slowly over time. Tired of it not being finished. So we're looking for a sink to put in there and maybe a mirror. Yep. And um, so we thought we would kind of bring you around to our favorite spots that we found in Nashville for all different types of like home furnishings, furniture, all that stuff, stuff, and put it in one video because we're already doing it anyways. Um, as a little guide for people, if you live here, or if you're coming here and you want to like explore um, antique shops, we are quite the experts, I would say, because we are obsessed with interiors and have been like kind of finding our favorite places over the past year since we moved yeah, here. Yeah, I would say we're experts at knowing the spots around Nashville because mm -hmm. we've made it our priority to yes. find things as we've been decorating our house over the last year. Exactly. So, so. we're gonna show you, uh, bring you along. And the first place that we love, we showed before, Patina & Co. Mm -hmm. It is a antique furniture shop. Um, we love the people that own the business. It's really moderately priced. They have amazing style. So we're gonna go in there first. We're gonna look for we that. We need some stuff for shelf decor. We we did you say that? Yeah. We need a lot of stuff. Ooh, this song's so good. Yeah, this song is so good. Um, But yeah, this whole vlog will be, it might not even just be today, it might be like over, over the, the cost of the weekend, Yeah, going from place to place, hunting down pieces, exploring different shops, showing you our guide to uh, furniture shopping, primarily antique shopping in, in Nashville. Uh, Nashville. So let's so, do it. Top in. Okay, let's go in. Let's First go in. stop, one of our favorites. Yes, yeah, so this is Patina & Co. They literally just stack the antique furniture. They have accessories, artwork, light fixtures everything um and i feel like the prices are like pretty moderate um for antiques because antiques can be so expensive they're definitely like the most fair prices that we've found and one cool thing is for a big chunk of the time they were only right here and now they're in this section too and now they just are expanding back way into there um they're growing their business and so they're gonna have like a much bigger space once all that's complete it's like double the size in there yeah. and uh their grand opening's happening in a couple weeks so we'll totally. keep you posted I would there say like about a quarter of the furniture in our house has been sourced from here so we definitely are fans we love it quality's great the owners are so nice too all right i've had my eye on these like carved vintage boxes i see them everywhere we started catching our eye in san francisco, san francisco. And they come from Europe, um, they're like out of churches, like a lot of them used to hold old like Bibles and stuff like that, but I just love the detailing of the carving work on all of them. This one's really pretty, 400 bucks, I feel like. We came thinking, we came here thinking about shelf decor, and I don't know if that'll go up on the shelf, but it could go on the, above the counter, yeah. on the bottom shelf, yeah. and we can make it functional by putting our tech gear this and chargers and stuff in it. pretty big, but it might just fill up. We could take a measurement. And go home. Mm -hmm. I don't know though. Like we would find a spot for that regardless, for sure. right? For sure. okay. Even like a good coffee table centerpiece or something. Totally. These are nice. All right. So the things I love to get here. We've gotten a lot of like chess here. Um, if you need nightstands, cabinets, armoires. They have a lot of like good pieces like that. Lots of shelving units, um, I feel like is their specialty. They also do a lot of little vintage chairs, um, lamps. Those are kind of like the main things. I've gotten some art pieces here. Alrighty, so we got a couple of things at 
uh, patina that we're gonna take home. The best thing that I love about them is if you if you shop there often, they see you a lot, they'll let you actually um, take things out um, and try them at your house and then bring them back if they don't work. Um, I'm sure they let designers it's, and stuff do that too. Yeah, like they'll um, loan it out to you like they, you, like put something down so you can Test actually take it um, and try it in your house because, and I feel like that's really smart because with home, you never know um, if something's gonna fit. You never know, and you really like need to be able to test it. But I mean, if, if it's a big, big piece, it's like you, you like you gotta know your boundaries. You like do. if we're we're trying like a lamp or something, or you something don't small, be annoying. You're not gonna set up like delivery of a piece and then no. like no, you still gotta buy it. It's like totally. know some some limits there. For sure. Um, but yeah, so we got some stools and we got that chest. And we're gonna bring it home and see if we can fit it. All right, quick coffee break. Grab we're going coffee. to Barista Parlor. They make a bourbon vanilla. Bourbon vanilla latte. Okay. We usually get it iced. I bet it's good hot. It's so good. I kind of want iced, even though it's snowing out. I oh, know. So good. I don't care. That's we get it with so half good. the sugar. Half usually with sweet. oat milk. You get almond milk or oat. Oh, oh that's really good. It's delicious. It's so. our favorite like uh, to go coffee, mm. but I really like Dose. We had that this morning. I know they have great coffee too. Great that coffee. was delicious. Are we gonna try to hit the workout this afternoon? No. At the five thirty? Mm. I think I might hit it. All right. Good cardio at the end of the day. Well, maybe I'll maybe I will. I'm up for it. Right. We find some stuff, but okay, let's go. Rista Parlor. Great place to come and work too. It's cute. too tired to put makeup all the time. And I'm like, I'm not doing it anymore. I, I did makeup for dinner last night, but with these plants. We need plants in our house that we keep alive. We're yeah, terrible at it. These are what I mean, like West Coast. I know, yeah. and the pots and so plants. Look yeah, good. we do need plants. I want to get a black olive tree. They're really cool. Did you have that fuck shirt? That's cool. I know, it's, it's cute. I like their record player set up. Great place to come work too. I feel like a lot of people are working. It's cozy. There's so many like big table spaces if you want to work from a um, coffee shop. It's warm. They have great coffee, and a lot of coffee shops are kind of small. Like they don't have like ample space to like put your laptop. And this one, they have like multiple big long work tables around the place. It's like big. It feels more like a warehouse vibe. Um, this is the location in the Gulch, and I really like this location. But they also have one in Germantown. And I think at one more location. I don't know what part of Nashville. Perfect. Oh, yes. Thank you. Cheers. Heaven on earth. Mm. So good. Holy cow. It's so good. Crack. All right. Preservation station next on the list. So this next place, Preservation Station, is more of an architectural location. So I would say um, you come here for things that you maybe need to like build with, like doors, sinks, tiles. Um, it's kind of like protect arch protect architecturals that we used to go to in Dallas. If any of y'all have been following that long, they might it's not like that is. big wooden doors, maybe some sinks, like old lights. It's more not things that you decor, need. Yeah. It's more things like materials that you could use for architectural design. It literally says architectural salvage, if that helps yeah. explain what it is. So we'll bring you guys inside and you can see, but this would probably be more for like a homeowner if you're like redoing something and you want like a really cool, unique door. They have all sorts old of stuff. Old chandeliers, old yep. mirrors. It's more like that versus yeah. furniture. But it's so cool to come and like get inspiration if you're just into home stuff. It's mm -hmm. a fun place to look at and just see all the things they have. The wood and the materials are really beautiful. Um, we're actually looking for like a sink vanity. So this could work. For our uh, powder bath. So we're, fingers crossed, we would find something. And this is on the same street as Patina & Co, the first place we were at. It is. And then after this, we're gonna go to a place called Dealer's Choice, which is also on this road. It's all on 8th, 8th. Street. Yeah. They all kind of by like Zany's Comedy Club. Yeah. Um, but yeah, 8th Street in Nashville. Nice little district um, yeah. with stuff in it, so. Let's hop on in. Yeah. Let's do it. All right, see what I mean? Tubs, stones, shit. You know what I mean? It's really cool, too. Ooh. Hello. Lots of doors. Really pretty doors, actually. I love the carved ones. Mm. 
A lot of little cute light fixtures. This would be a great place for light fixtures. I just want to get a new light fixture in my office. Like yeah. a little older. So pretty. I want to get a new light fixture for our living room if we find something. Cool that each one has its own. I know. Like string. Mm-hmm. I bet I'm gonna like yank one off. Healers for this trade, Chicago. Wow. How cool. I love old stuff. It's so cool. An all wool line. Oh, it was like their catalog. Mm-hmm. Actually I thought it would be fun to do tiles on the back wall, but these are really pretty. Those are really pretty. Gorgeous. I like those. Really pretty color. Ooh, those are cool too. I know. The tricky part with finding a sink is I think we were trying to stay away from white, but we might have to stick with white. I don't like it. It's probably need to be custom, unfortunately, but with COVID. Or we can probably find something, maybe fursha dibs. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Like, this is all we really need. Just it something is, simple. Yeah. But find the right color. Yeah. But I feel like that was what was there before, so we want to deviate. Right? I know. There's an old bicycle. This is like all of the doors. A lot of different options. It's a whole hallway made out of doors. Spot number three. This is called Dealer's Choice Antiques. And it's a little bit of a rough around the edges, this one, but um, you can find some stuff. They do like auctions and stuff. I just go in and just ask if things are for sale. It's kind of random. They go to like estate sales though and they get a ton of different stuff. They have, you'll see, all sorts of stuff. Unique though compared to other things. Um, are they open today? Oh they no. They must have just closed. They were open when we drove by earlier. Okay, yeah, sorry about that. So let's see if you can even tell. Oh, there you go. There's a little preview of what's inside. It's a lot of different little stuff, but yeah, worth checking out. We thought we'd include it in the video. They do like public auctions. I don't know. It's weird. You can go in and shop though, so check it out. Okay, up next, we're going to stock and trade. Now, this is the first like new store with new furniture. It's not antiques, but we like to mix new with antiques in yeah. our house, and I think that's the best way to do it. And this is a little further south in Brentwood, only like four miles maybe yeah and like it's still on the same minutes. road it's still on 8th street basically yeah Eighth street straight shot in. down and it's right next to home goods so if you're a home goods fan you could hit both um and it's also near a restoration hardware outlet as well if and you want to check that out in um is this the home goods we did the video the yes. first no oh it was yeah it is it was here a long, right that was there. like four years ago home goods is right there and then stock and trade is right there so that's where we're going in let's do it Uh-huh, we like it, we like it. This is a beautiful table. You don't really come and across like oval tables like this, you know? No, and I like the color. That's nice. This is a Gorgita. So like earthy, I love it. It seems like Lux too. Oh, totally. We need this. How cool are these too that hang off the side? Well, that's pretty, yeah. I didn't even notice that. This bedding, like on the upstairs bedroom. Well, I mean, I like for our bed too. Mm hmm. Whoa. That caught our attention. Oh, yeah, this basket. We love this basket. This basket, we feel like it could go at the foot of any bed. Any bed, behind a couch. Behind a couch. Blankets in it. That's good. It's like on the inside. Perfect. It's so cute. Mm hmm. Yeah, I really like that. It's nice too. Yeah love this that's a really good versatile piece you could also like stain it if you wanted it darker but cool cool that's a cute little simple couch for looking for something 
small and smaller side maybe more for an apartment or smaller house they have just so many options like if i didn't have anything i would have definitely come here to like stock up i love all of their chairs a lot of really good like pieces if you need you know your basics um i think this is really good like that desk is so cute i love it and he said they get five to seven trucks per week um of all new stuff and you get to take it home right away so like that's the best part which is great um ooh, look at all the pillows let's see anything that we like hmm we got stuck sitting on the couch we were saying how nice Cozy. it is to have a couch with a high back a high back makes it more like relaxing more warm like, like i don't think i've ever and any of our chairs or couches at the house, Nothing I've been able to like high. fall asleep sitting. Actually, like, I could fall asleep sitting. It's cute. Like it's a nice color. Mm -hmm. We have like three of these for our meeting room, like all levels. Yeah, yeah. Like it, it's big. Like it's like deep. Like it's high. Let's see here. Twenty four nine nine. Nice color too. Yeah, like for a high ceiling. It's cozy. We also have our eye on that light fixture for our living room. That one right there. We like it. It looks kind of vintage. But, I don't know, just cool. Like, it could be from an antique store. Hola! What's up, everybody? What's us? Okay. It is a new day of this video, but we're doing day two. We're going to the second round of all of our favorite places. New places that weren't in part one of this. And some of these places, y'all have seen in other vlogs, but we think it would just put it all yeah. in one. If you're just stumbling across this video, then yeah. this is your guide, so you wouldn't know that. Absolutely. Um, but we've got a few places that are key spots for us that we're going to take you to today. The first one is Gas Lamp Antiques, which is... If you're an antique person, it is probably the biggest one in Nashville. Yeah. Um, so much variety. We've had clothes there too. What honestly. would you call it? It's almost like a mercantile in a way. Mm, it's um, like an antique mall, but like probably mall. the best one yeah. here. So it's right under the Staples. The, gas. the right side of the. Yeah, where it says antique mall, gas lamp antique mall. I won't show you, but just so you have a reference point for the first time you're going, can be a little bit confusing. There's two locations right here. There's one right here, and then there's one a little bit down the to way the way. left. Yes, yeah, so there's two locations. You want to hit them both, but gas lamp right there. There you go. Um, open seven days a week, new and old. So it's like a mixture, but definitely the biggest variety. Um, and we found a lot of stuff there, yeah, so we have, indeed. check it out so we can show you guys the vibe. All right, here we go. You walk in and head right up the stairs. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Stairs to glory. I mean, and you might want to reserve a few hours for this place because it's pretty big, pretty incredible. It's literally gigantic. Miles and miles. A ton of different booths and sections. It's just one section. And so antique. Obviously, like this is the type of place that you're gonna have to have a lot of patience. You need to really have to take your time and like look through everything. But um, we'll point out a few things in this particular booth that we're drawn to. You never know what you're gonna find, never. but you can also come here and looking for something, something specific like shelf decor or coffee table decor, yeah. or, like smaller pieces or like a dresser or whatever, like tables. You can you can come looking for those things, but you also stumble across things that other things and get inspired. Totally, it's like treasure hunting a little bit. One thing that's actually catching my attention is this carved book holder, which I really like. That's cool for like my office. I, I really like carved wood. I have like a that table in my office right now is carved. It's giving me fall vibes. Fall? Really? Because like the leaves. Oh, uh, yeah, it's kind of leafy. Yeah, so maybe I don't like this exact one, but I could, I know that this is something like this, but with like a really beautiful book, like on the coffee table or something, this could be really cool. So that gives me an idea. I'm digging this pedestal. It's yeah, like a side table. Pedestal. It's or, an hey, early, yeah, early oh, white pine oh, pillar. What if we put this in our bathroom and put our fragrances on it? Love it. On that little wall. Yeah. Perfect. Cool. I love it. Oh, oh. I was also thinking it, it's like, I think it'd be cool like next to a couch with like a lamp on it. Like it gives it some height. I mean, you could do a million things. Yeah. 
I haven't told Julia since our entryway isn't huge. We've always wanted, she's been wanting an entryway table for a long time, but so the entry isn't like so that wide. Enough. So you could do something like this and make it like an entryway thing with like a big flower pot on it or something. Totally. But multiple things you can do with but it. That would be fun to do in the bathroom. I also really like this basket up here. Um, I want to get a basket to put on top of the, that little armoire, but it's just being used in our trash room right now. But, and that thing's cute. Yeah, it's like petite. Little, like, yeah. This, this, you should really, really take it slow and like look at everything. That is a cute lamp. I like that. Oh, this is cool. Like from an old organ. It's really cool. Wow. I've never seen like the inside of an organ or piano standing upright like that. Interesting. At some point we're going to be renovating our basement uh, in like the movie room and bar like speakeasy vibe and I thought this would be kind of like a cool final few steps coming into the basement to like start your adventure into the basement. I don't know. I like it. It's solid. Yeah. These little tassels they are scroll weights from japan i don't know just something about them i really like i like how they're like painted ceramics and then they have a little tassel i don't know i'm like i want to like put them like on my bag or something or i don't know put them on the counter i'll figure out something to do with them but i think the reason i love antiquing if you're not familiar with it or you feel nervous to go it's cool because it allows you to access like different parts of your personality or like your inner soul that you isn't on the outside so you just come and there's so many different time periods so many different it's like an art gallery basically but it's objects and you just go and you see what you're drawn to like oh i like that art why do i like it what do i like about it I like the trees i like the colors or i really like this dish i, I love the texture of it or like where is it from like you can use the experience of antiquing to discover things about yourself that you didn't know. And you'll start to notice the more that you go, the same, you're attracted to things that the similar style and then that's how you kind of start to develop what your aesthetic is because you see what you're naturally attracted to. Um, so there's no right or wrong answer and everyone has their own taste and style. So Hunter and I are drawn to really different things, which is really cool. And um, we can mesh them together, but it's kind of a part of like, self-development in a way or i've found it as a outlet for that for myself just to discover or like define things that you like or your dreams in your head um in a tangible item so i don't know that's something i love about it if it's not your thing and you're kind of like i don't get why people like that maybe that's helpful so you kind of get the gist you can figure find literally anything here um so yeah just so you know this is one of our fave places. We're not gonna like walk through every cubby with you guys because this would literally be like 10,000 hours, but um, like that little table, it's a perfect little side table. I know, I saw that too and I was like, we need a repair center. It's a sign. I was just telling you that a second ago. I know, I had just seen that and I was like, that's when I was like, we gotta go to Paris. Hunter and I are due for a Paris trip. We wanna go antiquing in Paris. Ooh, buddy, that would be next level <laughs> um really it's like it'd be antiquing in france it'd be antiquing in france how much of it in paris would be take place i feel like it's in the suburbs and like the the oh, countryside I you know mean, what i mean but i could spend weeks just walking through antique stores in france so comment below if you guys want to see a vlog on that where should we go antiquing next that'll be fun um all the things you can find there's millions of things all over the world it's incredible all right, so when you leave that location, there's another half of Gaslamp Antiques that um, is just down the street. So they have two separate buildings and they're really big. Um, so We put up a vlog about two or three weeks ago of us shopping at both, both of these gas lamps. And yeah. we'll link it down below so you can kind of get a better uh, depiction of what it's like inside this one. Yeah. But it's more warehouse vibe, like more spread out and more yep. open. So I don't know, we'll link that video down below. So here it is, Gas Lamp Antiques Decorating Mall. So this is the other location. So just make sure that you check out both and yeah.
Next up is this little place called Nadau. Nadu. Nadu. And this is new furniture, so it's not vintage. Um, and we've seen some cute things here. Um, really, really good price points, very affordable. So we'll take you inside. All right, here we go, a little preview. Yeah. Inside. Voila, lots of different styles. And they get new stuff all the time, so let's see what we can find. This was like the first store we came when we first moved here. Yeah. Or the first store we came to. For bigger pieces, consoles, tables, dressers, like that. Not bad, that little rod. Table? Yeah. Or console? Yeah. Entryway. Um. Like depending on your taste, like this could be really cool. It's a good yeah, color of pretty. the wood, yeah. Really pretty for underneath like a TV. Gorgeous. Media um, media console. Yeah. It's pretty. For example, this is how much like this piece costs. So pretty $1, good $1, price. Really for, good. It's pretty good for like a big piece like that. Yeah. I can see us with the brown one. Mm-hmm. Oh good mirror. That's a really good mirror. It's a good piece of art. Very neutral. $128. Amazing. I, my eye keeps coming back to that mirror. It's nice. Really nice. And here's another one. This is dark. We need a new mirror, actually. Nice. Matching. A really pretty bench right there. That's cool. I like the style. It's like woven, like... I don't even know. Yeah, but I like the wood. Like the combo of it. It's nice. So pretty. Yeah, like at the end of the bed. Maybe that's what... Our room needs a little bit of like... A little texture. A little bit of like earthiness. But I like our chairs in front of our bed. Maybe we find chairs that are more like this style. That's cool. I'm digging it. It's probably my favorite piece I've seen in here yet. Totally same. A lot of people in here. Okay, this coffee table kind of reminds me of the bench. Light wash wood. Really simple. That's really pretty. Nice square. I like the way they design it. It looks like it's all one piece. Like carved yeah, out, you know what I mean? Exactly. Like it's like nicer quality wood. This, this thing caught my eye too. Ooh, yeah. That's nice. I like the hardware on it. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. This fit on our shelves now. Too big, huh? That's so cute. Reminds me of one of those baskets that like a snake pops out of. Like a little burgundy riding chair. It's like a little like artist table, like you have your little like. I think it's like a riding chair. Journaling chair. Journaling chair in front of the fireplace. <laughs> Don't sit on that thing. That might get you. Don't do that. Julia's like in this little pot. For the shelves. Might be too tall. <laughs> Is it heavy? Then don't 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 do that. Pretty. Like on a table. <gasps> Gorgeous. Or entryway. That's a find. I like this. Is it even for sale? I don't know. Is it? Probably not, knowing my look. I gotta get Is it, though. Underneath? No. There was a sticker on it. We can ask them. Let's ask. This is a really nice option for bar stools or countertop stools. If you want something darker. These are really nice. Man, I like your boots. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah. Alrighty. Last stop on... The guide is another antique shop in Belmine. It's a goodie. Check out those. Very nice. This one is called. Okay, this one's called the Belmine Shops Interiors and Antiques, and they have old and new stuff. But their antiques are really good. Mm -hmm. Every antique has their own like uh, shop that we've shown has like their own vibe here. This is like a little shopping center across from the Rose Pony. Mm -hmm. So if you have trouble finding this place, you just look up the Rose Pony and it's right across in the same shopping center. Yeah. Um, this one's really cool. These are a little bit more expensive because it's in an area that's like um, a little older. But they have their, their antiques are a little more sophisticated. Mm -hmm. They're really like nice, um, good taste, really beautiful things. So we purchased some art from here, mm -hmm. some items for like the art gallery in my office. Yeah. A few different pieces. Yeah. Some lamps. 
So we'll probably find some good stuff in here. Right. Also, there's there's definitely some places that we Woo! left off. Um, this guide, we'll leave them all in the uh, description box down below. Yeah. Places that we've been, some are further out, like that one antique shop in Franklin. Now it's a good oh, one. I know. What's or that one called? I can't remember. Is it Farmhouse good? Farmhouse Antiques or something? Yeah, there's some good ones down in Franklin. Which we'll is... put more in this, like the list in the description box, and then you can just print the list out if you're bopping around. Yeah, or screenshot it or whatever you want to do. Take yeah. a picture of it on your phone. But um, this one's a good one. It is we good. almost forgot to bring out here. It was hard to like think about all the places we bop around to. I know. But this one's really good. But we haven't purchased furniture from here, like bigger pieces, but just like shelf decor, coffee table items, some art. Yeah. Uh, they have some good stuff, so we'll take you in and show you. Let's do it. Already a gorgeous table. That's pretty. I like the stuff you're gonna find here, like real wood. But it is a little bit more expensive. Like little art pieces like this for like a hall bathroom. Totally. Or like a guest bathroom. It's really cute. Really cool little touches. Love it. Gorgeous baskets. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Gorgeousness. They have the same kind of setup. It's like a little maze of different things. Pillows. Um, lots of little rooms with all sorts of different stuff, so you can just keep going around and around. A little mini for the front bathroom, but that's not the right color. No, I like it though. I like the size. This would be cute. What if we got two of these for under our um, vanity? Or like a little rug like that under each nightstand. Totally. Like a nightstand rug. I think this table is pretty cool. A little orangey for my liking, but this would be cool for someone's home bar, scotch and rye. What if instead of a round entryway table, we did the uh, wings down? And I know, it was like long uh, depth wise. That's what I'm thinking. I was like, it, it, it kind of separates our offices. I know, be kind of cool, like a long skinny, yeah. yeah. We're digging this chair, something like this style, maybe by like the fireplace, if there was two of them. That piece is really cool. I like this dish. This would be good for like shelf decor. Or like, like a coffee the, table. The like add yeah. like a little bit of texture, color to the wood. I know. We have nothing Not color, that. but like, you know, like a uh, dimension. And just like something interesting. Yeah. So boring. I like it. Should we get it? I'm digging it. It's kind of my favorite thing we see. Get this one. Let's get that. I don't think I like the Dish, yeah. yeah. Cool. It's like old world vibes. I love this it. This chair is really cool. It's an old mahogany chair. Gorgeous. It's really cool. I would love to add an yeah. element like this to our living room. I know. It's comfortable. It's comfortable. Really comfortable. I feel like wooden chairs by the fireplace oh. is like a throwback. Totally. It needs to be brought back. Totally. Love it. But only one. One could be cool though too, actually. I Just know, one by the fireplace. It's like, you know how like, so like older know. homes had like a single rocking chair? Yeah. You know what I mean? Do you feel like the frame is a little bit too old, like grandma? It, it, it's all about what's around it. I know. And how your interiors are, are styled. Totally. Okay. What do you think about tapestry hanging? I don't know. I haven't been able to get on board. I don't, maybe I just haven't found the right one that I like. for me. Yeah. yeah. Alright, let's get out. Okay, let's do it. All right, y'all, we'll wrap up when we get home. All right, you guys, it's a couple days later. We forgot to close out this video, so I just wanted to say we hope you enjoyed and uh, picked up a few uh, suggestions of where to go shopping in Nashville. Yeah, or pass along if you have anyone you know that's moving to the city, looking for stuff to decorate, you can send them the link to this vid and we just hope it's like a nice little guide to some home decor shopping. Yeah, use it as a resource. Um, and if you're new here, hit subscribe. We'd love mm -hmm. to have you stay. We show a lot of us shopping around and decorating the house. See you later. Bye. She drove me out of state and held a man. And I searched for her in those West Coast nights. And every little smile and stranger passing through.